Okay, um, welcome everyone. So today we'll be seeing how to just join uh, the Kaggle page and how to be, or yeah, how to be one of the computers in one of their projects that they can, um, that they have, okay. So it's just going to be a demonstration uh, session that we're going to um, discover their page. So depending on this week's challenge, just so you know, um, you're going to choose three projects from, uh, I mean one project from the given three projects in the technical document. So since most of you were uh, part of the introduction, I will just go through the demonstration, okay? Since you understand what the concept is about, what the competition, uh, I mean what the challenge is about. So yeah, uh, just to start from the beginning, the first thing that we are going to do, yeah, let's just start. is going to their page so we have just signed in or logged into their page but if you haven't uh probably you, you're going to you need to go to the it is not going to be a difficult step you're, you're just going to uh use some of your maybe your google page your google account or another email and you will be able just to proceed and to create your own account then after creating your account this is the home page actually even without creating for example let's just see a demonstration here which is this page i didn't i don't have uh i haven't signed in with this gmail account okay okay so yeah we can also just proceed with this but it will ask you to sign in or register okay so you need to register from the beginning if you're new registering uh, with your google account or with your email account but you can see what the, the platform or what Kaggle, what Kaggle is doing what do they provide like their competitions which means they have different competitions and they have uh, uh, a data set that you can use even if you are planning to just practice uh, some projects by yourself and not on their uh, not to compete with their platform you can just uh, can have some data set that you want to have okay so there is even a discussion platform uh yeah you you will be able to see all those but in order to be part of some competitions and in order to submit your project and to be one of the competitors then you need to sign in with your own account so i have just signed in and this is a, the, the, the thing that i'm trying to show you is it just have the same type of uh, things over here just my name here since I have uh, logged in okay so the next thing or the main thing that we want to see here is the competition right so we can go to the competition part uh, so going through the competition page you can see some active competitions here which which are there are different types of competitions more that I mean the active competitions that you can see here they come with some prize if you won the competition but the other one maybe it is just about uh, knowledge okay so the knowledge part you just gain some knowledge and you'll just be enrolled in the leaderboard and things like that but you can get all the uh, competitions here there are some competitions that you, you something that you don't want to be you shouldn't be confused about is there are some competitions that have just ended and you might not be able to submit some comp your work for those competitions and there are there are some competitions that are active at this time and there are some competitions that are just uh, rolling or that are open for uh, like every day okay they're just open yeah they're not going to have they don't have any deadline or uh, yeah they don't have any deadline and some competitions they have just you can submit your account or your uh, I mean your work as elite, as elite submission okay most of the three of actually uh, two of the competitions or the links or the pro projects that is um, mentioned on your uh, on our challenge document they are there you're going to submit your assignment as a late submission okay your work so yeah you can just see as i've told you different types of competitions here so if you have any competition in mind you can go to that competition here for example what i wanted to illustrate is the house price advanced regression techniques uh, i have already opened you can just see that your active competition is this is one of them but you can if it is another competition or if you are going to bring that competition from the technical document you can paste the name of the competition here okay so maybe uh, here 
one of the condition is one of the challenge. Oh, this is not the document, right? I'm sorry. Okay, very sorry. This is the competition. Yeah. There's one of his uh, one of the competition is the trend prediction. Just opening this Kaggle page here, we can get the right name. You know, there are going to be different kind of uh, trend prediction uh, in Kaggle, but you might it, it might not be this one. So yeah. Let's go to this page. You can also search your uh, this project like this but for this case or for uh, today's um, and you can see that it's you're going to have a late submission it's already closed on this time of period but your work is going to be submitted as a form of late submission so you can go on okay so for now let's just see look back the house price the thing it's just a simple uh, logistic linear regression i, I guess made it yeah. Let's go to this competition, okay? So going to the competition that you wanna see, you can see the descriptions here. Um, like, what do you need to accomplish to complete this project and things like that. And the practical, uh, the practice skill, the acknowledgement, the evaluation. So maybe the things that you wanna know or that you really want, should focus on are here. So uh, what is the goal of uh, this project? So in this case, it is, as mentioned in the earlier session, it is to predict the sales price for each house, right? So you can see the goal and what are the metrics in order to evaluate this condition, okay? So if you have, if you just got the uh, metrics and in order to win or to be in a good uh, board or in a, in a good position for in this competition, so you're going to try to uh, do or, uh, you know, you, you will try to have a good value or a good mark on the matrix so you'll focus on the matrix so in this case it's going to they're going to see your result not your how you how you have done it and things like that not that one they're just going to see the error or they're just going to calculate the remix the root mean squared error and they will evaluate you based on that and what is the submission form file format so at the end of the day uh, they're not as i have told you before they're not going to evaluate in terms of the your code or your the like the quality of your code and things like that. If that is the case, then the submission file form format will include the ID, which is uh, which data set or maybe in the taste data, which uh, yeah, you know the ID of the data just in the sales price, which we are going to predict uh, or we're going to predict the sales. So we you they need the this all, just only this format, okay, the ID and the price. So you need to keep what type of file format is going to be valid on the submission um, for the submission so that you can at the end of your uh, work you will change your, your answer towards this one towards this format okay so you can have different types of tutorial and things like that you can go through that but the main things are you need to see the goal the metrics in the submission format okay so just let's say that we you have seen all this you've just gone to the project that you want to see that you want to do and maybe just on the submit prediction so now I have just uh, I am able to ju to just click the submit prediction, or I'm also able to see the submit prediction button because I have joined the competition. Okay, for a competition that you haven't joined, but you can submit your file. You you have a button here like join the competition or late submission. Okay, we've just seen that they it is going to say late submission for the previous project or for one of the projects in our technical document. Okay, so in this case, it is just the submit uh, prediction. Okay, so uh, here you can see the overview. Maybe you can go to the data. It will describe all the data. Uh, yeah, the definition of or we uh, probably have seen that uh, there were some of some challenges that you have uh, had before that were just the data were driven from Kaggle, right? So yeah, you can get every. Uh, definition or description for the data set for the data or for the features that you're going to have the um, data folder we're going to have the train.tv the taste the data and the sample submission file okay so what you're gonna you need to do is in code you can just go to the file code and you can create a new notebook if you want to add if you want to work on Kaggle page and then submit your work here so in the submit prediction you can just go to the new notebook or you can just upload your um, answer uh, by yourself okay 
So in your before that, yeah, on your notebook, you can. Let me just copy this one. Okay. On your notebook, you, you can see there's a notebook page and there's this uh, entry which will load the data for you, okay, which is in this case the data that you're going to predict the sales of the house based based on the data we're going to make the prediction so loading the data you're going to okay it, it is just running are you guys there yeah let me just make just cover okay, okay thank you so Let's go back to here and yeah, it has just loaded. And so you can see that both four of the data are loaded here. That is data, the train, the data description in the sample submission format, okay? So what I'm going to do now is there's this notebook that I have, that I have saved and I'm going to open that. Okay, just. Here, I can see that um, I can see my notebooks here. Don't worry about this uh, tab, okay? Just focus on this one. We're going to proceed to this one, and we're going to see how to make some, uh, how to save them, okay? So now let's try just to have to calculate since it's a prediction. Just let's try to fill uh, the, the data based on just okay let's based on you know just any number since we're we we, we want to see how to implement or how to do the how to submit our condition and things like that okay so this will be the past to our train data training data Okay, so let's see what our data will look like. So this is the uh, our training data. The final value that we want to predict is the sale price. So we're going to do this again for the test data. Let's see. So probably we'll expect that our test data is missing uh, the last value, which is. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, which is the sales price. So we'll expect that our test data is missing that value, right? And that's a pass. We can use the pass for the test data. Okay, so here, what we need to predict is, so it is the last column in here is the sale condition and the last column here is the sale price. So uh now we have a good visualization of what we need to predict so what i'm going to do is i just have then the uh, we'll just try to calculate the mean value okay the mean value for the so depending on the train data the mean value for the train data and we can okay we can print the mean this is the mean value so we'll try to fill all that data or we, we will create a new column called the sale price and we will try to fill all the column all the rows on that uh, value with the with the new mean, mean data okay since it's going to be a very simple uh, demonstration but in real life we're going to use some models in order to do that so trying to yeah, this is i'm bringing the code from already saved uh notebook of mine okay so here you can see that we have just replaced the we have created the sale price column here and then replaced we have given the mean value which is the the variable mean for all the mean value and we have multiplied through the link so that it can fill all the column i mean all the row of this the sale price column okay so we have uh, estimated 
just some value, some uh, any value for all the columns, say, so that we can just um, submit this. But before submitting that, we expect, so we have seen uh, the format of the data, right? What it should be. So here uh, on the test data, there is the ID and the sale price. This is the column, but we don't need even the index, right? This index. So trying to convert this to a .csv file, ignoring the index value. Okay, now you can see that there is the calculated mean, okay? This is the name of the CSV. We're trying to change this file or this format, ignoring the index, this index, into a folder or a file name called calculated mean, which is going to be .csv file. So by coming here, we can, we can see this file, okay, calculated me. You can, uh, okay, or estimated value, you can say that. So that we can, it, it is going to be proof that we are changing or we are exporting this uh, value, yeah, estimated value or the calculated mean, okay. So by going here, we can download this file, right? And, Wait, we think we need to wait. Mm, I am not sure why is it opening or just it would have opened directly to any WS format. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that this is the ID in the Sale price, it might not be that clear, right? Wait, let's see the other file, which is the calculated mean. It, yeah, it is just, it's just about the format, okay? But we can just estimate the value and download the, the our result from here in the format of the, what the format needs to be, okay? After doing that, we can go back to the session that we've seen before before that but i have i was just able to see one of the notebooks i have created here because here without uh, before getting out of this notebook you can save the you should save the version okay and save the version you can put any version name new version and just save this so that we will get new version okay don't forget the name and your credit file committing sequence number mismatch. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's say new version one, I think it's about the number. Interactivization. I don't know while committing can mix concurrency violation sequence number mismatch. Okay, let's restart this. I think it is not loading or I don't know, but we might lose the printing, but let's risk it. Yeah. Since we already have uh, the code in another place, it's not going to be that probably. Uh, we're not actually we're not supposed to visualize the the data so <laughs> okay The idea is in order to get since I've told you that they are going to see the final submission. So uh, in order to get your code again, if you have done it in uh, Kaggle, then you need to save them, okay? So I think the mean, yeah. Is 
فیصدی پر کرد اوکے کل پہ اتنی ایر از جو سیونگ دم ان سیم تھائی پر فرمات کی Okay, so going again, let's try to save them, save version, and version one, okay, let's go with that. I think it is uh, trying to save, yeah, the yeah. notebook. You can re rename the your notebook, okay, here, you can rename the your notebook, but save a version of, we, uh, we, have, we have not uh, named this one it is just a uh, version one okay you can go to your page so in order to check whether where your uh, saved file is let's go back to our home page since we have saved our work okay. so you can in this part again on the competition side and all your work shared with you and bookmarks on your work you can see the new notebook that you have saved okay this is the notebook that is saved before six, seven seconds ago which is the notebook that we have tried now and to submit we can go to the submission prediction and we can browse the file uh yeah the right format for some reason is the average prediction which is re which is also a prediction that i have made uh before using the same step you can see on maybe some missions you can see that I have submitted the subreddit underscore prediction dot csv file, and yeah, let's on the submit prediction. Let's try. Let us just try to resubmit this file again. Average prediction. Okay. So you can put some description for your file, the methods that you follow to do the to perform the steps and things like that, and then submit. Okay. So yeah, it is a success, okay? You have, we have just submitted uh, our work, which is completed now, without uh, any description, okay? So leaderboard, on leaderboard, we can check, uh, jump to your leaderboard position. We have just made a simple uh, estimation for that, and it is kind of 4,575. But see, there are more uh, codes who have tried worse than us. It is just an estimation, so you can just check your. Um, so you're required to take screenshot of your uh, your leaderboard position. So you can check your leaderboard position like this and take a screenshot of a screenshot of this. Okay. So yeah, in just like this, you can put uh, different submissions. Uh, actually, take submissions per day by improving your submissions. Okay. So try to submit an improved format as you can and uh, improve your leaderboard position. For that. Okay, so yeah, this is the presentation. So maybe if you have any question, then we can proceed. Okay, thank you, Absa. Any question, or if there's anything that you did not that you did not understand yet, anyone? Okay, after I end up with you, you're the only one here. Is that clear? No question. Okay, Abigya. It seems like women station, so we can be free. Okay, thank you, everyone. So yeah, thank you, and good luck with the other tasks. And goodbye. Uh